Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Uh, I'm here in front of the, the Gary Lions Club, their uh, center that they have uh, graciously provided for us for our Good Friday service this Friday at 11 a.m. I hope you can come join us. Uh, the worship singing will be led by a, uh, a group of enthusiastic singers and uh, musicians from Gary Baptist Church. and. Uh, Pastor Neil Whitman of uh, Sovereign Grace Baptist Church will be sharing a message from God's Word. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, being together as uh, brothers and sisters in Christ as we uh, celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for us. Uh, we do it on a day that is significant to us. And as uh, I stand here in the uh, parking lot at the Lions Center and I think a little bit more about Lions, uh, I think of that, uh, that one who was known as the Lion of Judah. In fact, that title was picked up because of his father, Jacob, who spoke about Judah in his uh, final words about his children. Uh, he prophesied about Judah <clears throat> as the Holy Spirit inspired uh, Jacob to say that he would be the Lion, lion of Judah and that the scepter would not depart from his son's line, from Judah's line. We know that that was a, a prefigurement, a, a foreshadowing of uh, what was to come, and that, yes, the uh, kings would come through the line of Judah, and that the lion of Judah, the leader, uh, the king of the of the beasts would, uh, uh, that image of the lion would be applied to uh, Judah and his descendants that uh, through the, the tribe of Judah, the kings of Israel would come and eventually we know that the king, Jesus himself, came through that line of the lion of Judah. <clears throat> Jesus truly is the lion of Judah, the fulfillment of that great prophecy. And uh, we see that on uh, the uh, different things that we read about uh, Good Friday. One that stands out to me is from John chapter 19. And as Pilate is uh, speaking uh, the truth about uh, Jesus Christ, uh, perhaps without even realizing it, his actions say a great deal. In fact, Pilate, who was the one who had to give the order in order for Jesus to be crucified legally, uh, the one who was serving as the Roman governor of that area, uh, Pilate installed, had a, a sign installed above Christ's head as he was there on the cross. And the sign said, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Well, those who had been responsible for uh, pursuing Jesus and uh, causing the crucifixion to take place, the, the leaders of uh, the Jewish religious establishment, complained to Pilate and said, don't write the king of the Jews, write that he, uh, he suspected or that he proclaimed to be the king of the Jews. They wanted the message to be, be different than it actually was. But Pilate said, I have written what I have written. Pilate spoke the truth. The king of the Jews, the king of the universe, the lion of Judah, hanging on a cross to bring about our salvation, to pay the price for our sin, not for his sin, but for our sin. The perfect son of God hanging on a tree for us, the Lion of Judah doing the ultimate act of service so that he could serve and seek and to save that which was lost. I'm glad for the Lion of Judah. I'm glad for what he has done. We celebrate today what uh, the Lion has done for us. Hope you're having a great day. God bless you.